Here we have a new 2024 Dodge Hornet. This one comes in the RT Plus trim level with the track pack and black top package. This color is eight ball and then we have the black Alcantara interior. For the powertrain, we get a 1.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder hybrid engine and that's made it to a six speed automatic transmission. So as we come around to the front end here, we do get our LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights and a nice looking front fascia here. I reviewed the 23 GT and that one looked nice and this one looks at least just as good. Now with this one having all the packages it has, one of the coolest options are these 20 inch black aluminum wheels. We have the red brake calipers there and we have some in the back as well. Passive keyless entry on the front, power door lock controls, memory seat functions, Harman Kardon sound system, power windows, rear window lock there. And then we do have power folding side mirrors with blind spot monitors in those bottle holders, headlamp controls. We can go ahead and pop the gas cap from here. And then the hood release right there. And we do have a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. And here's our power driver seat with four-way power lumbar support. And I love the black Alcantara with the red accents. It just looks super slick in my opinion. But I have that front seat adjusted for some of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So we're gonna take a quick look at the room sitting behind myself. Now hopping in here, leg room is just a tad limited. Headroom is actually pretty decent. I have about an inch or two of headroom and you can see my legs are there. But seat back pockets are on both sides. Rear AC vents, you have a USB-C, USB-A charge duo. And there's a view of the front from back here. There's a power sunshade for that oversized roof there. And then this middle seat folds down, bottle holders and whatnot are there. And you do have a, a release to go through to the back, which is pretty neat, I think. LED dome lights in the back. Let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. Fuel cap there, or charge port there, excuse me. So that'll take a, a 220 to get you that full 33 miles on a charge there. Now, nice looking back end here. Love the light bar. And we do have the dual exhaust there, as you can see the engine cut on. And you do get a, a pretty nice exhaust note there, in my opinion. Huge shout out to Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Franklin for allowing me to review this car today. I'll leave a link below in the description. Twelve volt back here. And then lift this up and have a little access. If you want to stow the charger here, I think this is where the charger is. Yeah, the charger's right there. The tire inflator kits here. And we do have the power hatch, so that'll come back down by itself. But let's go ahead and take a quick look underneath. And then I'll show you how the seat folds down. Now this is what's confusing. The fuel cap is here. It's kind of weird trying to get that open. I don't know why I didn't want to open right now. It might be because the car's on. That's probably why actually. Top tethers there. These do fold flat. You can run longer objects through to the front and make sure the seat belt's out the way and it snaps back into place very easily. Front passenger seat here. We also get that four-way power lumbar support with the power seat function. So I'm glad we have power seats on both sides. Pretty good glove compartment space there, in my opinion. And then let's take a quick look at this window sticker because it's definitely not cheap, but you do get quite a bit here. So base price, 46,400. And you all can pause anywhere you need to to take a closer look. 51,585 is the sticker price which does include that 3590 black top and track pack bundle, which I do highly recommend just because you get the dual mode suspension as well as the brake calipers and that Alcantara interior, which is very nice. And still pretty good fuel economy and especially electricity, I think, in terms of getting that 33 miles on a charge.
But coming back around to the front here, let's go ahead and pop the hood. And there's that 1.3 liter inline four hybrid engine there. Let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So nice sporty leather wrapped steering wheel here. There's a the horn sound there. Over here to the radio. There's the home page. For media, we do get our AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, and then we have Amazon Alexa, or not Amazon Alexa, but Alexa capability there, along with your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Dual zone automatic climate controls. You have buttons and knobs down here, and then you have scroll bars, and you know you can use a touch screen up here. Three stage heated front seats and a heated steering wheel too. Navigation system is coming up. There it is. Search destinations, add your homework, all of that. And then your vehicle settings are right in here. So this is just waking up, so it's usually not this uh, this slow. But, I mean, the graphics are really good here. And then we're going to go to the settings. So in the My Profile, you can change your language or your units of measurement here, which I'm going to change those back because I don't like how they are now. Change the temperature to Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. So changes instantly, which I like. Backup cameras there, pretty good picture. Guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. You have those rear parking sensors too. Hazards, 12 volt USB-C, USB-A, wireless charging pad, sport mode toggle, which is pretty neat. And then for your shifter, grab the lever, reverse neutral drive, come over here to manually shift, and then you can use the paddle shifters behind the steering wheels as well, which are very, very nice. These are some of the nicest paddle shifters I've seen. Now, volume knob is right here. You can turn that up or down, click to mute. Electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down and disengage. You have the stability control button as well as the parking sensors, which you can toggle there. Bottle holders are there. You have a pretty small center console cubby space, but you can put something in there. And then up here, you have the controls for the sunroof as well as your lights and whatnot here. Now we're gonna hit that sunshade. And there's the roof. And then you also have a pretty neat function, which I think, well, I think is pretty neat. It's just being able to tilt the roof one touch, so pretty cool. There's a look at the back seat from up here. And then garage door transmitter, vanity mirror, now, just a quick rundown of the steering wheel. Cruise controls are right here. Gap adjust for the adaptive cruise there. Set the speed, cancel, resume. And then we can change the gauge cluster functionality a little bit there. Voice recognition, Bluetooth. And then we can use this as a scroll bar for the middle there. And then volume controls are here. And then your E-Drive modes, hit that. You can go through your hybrid, electric, or E-Save modes. Blinkers lane keeping system and then you have automatic wipers so you can set that there and then low high and then pull up here for the front wiper fluid push back for the rear wiper fluid push button start finally here's the key fob with remote start 